It was the year 20XX, and the Earth had finally achieved an extended period of peace. Dr. Wily seemingly vanished, permitting the world to focus once more on true progress. However... Mega Man, fearing this peace would not last, recruited eight willing robot masters and began training them to combat any force of evil should it dare arise. To aid Mega, Man in Mega Man's coaching, Dr. Light created a new robot, Justice Man. Justice Man would possess abilities and weaponry similar to Mega Man's. And he would also share Mega Man's strong sense of justice. One fateful day, a group of robots began rallying against their creators. You must forgive any initial show of force. I had wished for a peaceful evacuation of human pers persons, but some of my comrades were simply too zealous. None were injured, and it will remain that way if you remain off our premises. Our purpose will be made clear to you soon enough. News of the rebellion spread rapidly throughout the world, causing panic. However, Mega Man saw this as an opportunity to test his team, the Rock Force. He sent the Rock Force out to subdue the rebellious robots. But none of the team returned. With communications down, Mega Man knew he had to act. I'll get to the bottom of this. I'll save my friends and bring those rebels to justice. Hello everybody, I'm Gamester522 and welcome to Mega Man Rock Force. This is a fan-made Mega Man game that I'm going to be playing through. Now, I am going to play this before Mega Man 7, if that wasn't ob already obvious. Otherwise, I won't be playing it right now. Now, before we get started, I do want to go ahead and, uh, well, hold on. I'm using Joy to Key, which I got it to work, so I'm playing on a gamepad right now. Anyway, um, for those of you who want to know, I have my resolution set to... This right here, the third one, it's not in full screen, just to avoid any lag issues, you know. Um, hopefully my audio and video are set. Now, this is what I'm going to look at the difficulty. I'm, I am going to play through the game on hard stage, hard boss, but to kind of even things out because you know I'm not the best Mega Man player, I set my lives to four. I did set spikes to work the way they're supposed to. Mega Man 2 rules, meaning you could still be okay if you have iframes. And enemy damage, damage recoil, all that stuff is normal. Four checkpoints is the default, so I'm going to leave it at that. So those are basically the things I'm, I kind of made to this. Modifiers, I could say, to go throughout the game with. So yeah, this is a fan-made Mega Man game made by Goldwater DLS. Um, I've never actually played it, I've seen it. I know the Mega Man 8-Bit Deathmatch Rock Force expansion is what really inspired this Let's Play, so for those of you who made the Rock Force expansion, well, props to you. You, you guys did a great job with that. But anyway, without further ado, let's get started. Six months before the Rebellion. Mega Man, I have troubling news. There's been an er energy surge at a nearby electrical plant. Now the robots working there have started malfunctioning. You and Justice Man must go and stop the robots. I hope nobody has already been injured.
Mega Man, I'll search the other entrance for human workers. Good luck, brother. So here we are, guys. We're playing Mega Man Rock Force. We have our Buster, we have our Charge Shot, and we have our Slide. So let's do this. I never actually played this game, but I've been looking forward to it because, like I said, the 8-bit deathmatch expansion was what really kind of set me on this. You guys are probably going to think I'm pretty insane for playing this on hard, uh... For playing this on hard stage and hard boss difficulty, but as I've stated, I prefer to fight bosses with everything they have in their arsenal. And I feel like hard mode in this game, from what I've seen, is the only way to do that. Some of you guys may be wondering, what do you mean you've already seen? I thought you said you never played the game. Well, I got curious and I watched videos of boss fights. This is nice. I did play the intro stage at least, just to kind of like get a feel for the game. It's, it pretty much functions really well. Speaking of fan games, I'm wondering if I should redo my Mega Man Unlimited playthrough just because I can do things at a higher quality now. Ow. Friggin'. Here's the thing though, I'm wondering like what kind of border I'm gonna put up. I'm still trying to figure that out because I don't want to use I don't want to use artwork made by uh, there's this one guy I saw who had artwork of bosses for this I might personally ask him probably at ah, shit because I just don't want to use his artwork without his permission just to, like put on the borders because I know that like I mean like I really like I really liked his drawings even though I had just found them well, doesn't that sound freaking arrogant as hell? Alright. Freaking Metors. Yeah, these uh, orange things are reflectors. Basically, if we shoot those, it reflects our shots, and we have to use those to solve these puzzles, which I thought is really cool. Even the Metor. Use the Metor to open a door. That's a pretty crazy one. All the workers seem to have evacuated safely. Also, all hostile robots have been neutralized. Justice Man. Who the hell are you? Oh, we're getting right into it, huh? So yeah, to fight this guy, we basically got to use these reflectors to damage him because he's going to be up here the whole time. Whenever he extends his arm out, just stand underneath him or to the sides. That's all there is to it. Whoa. Alright then, doing pretty good. Also, our charge shots do two points of damage to bosses in this game. Ah, uh, you sneaky son of a bitch. Oh, come on, almost had him. Okay, we got him that time. We need to get Justice Man out of here. I guess I can go ahead and save. I'm completely baffled, Mega Man. Functionally, he's completely operational. However, the shock altered his mental matrix rather strangely. Tests reveal no change in his behavior, but still... I can't be certain. Try to keep an eye on him, and report anything unusual. I will. Present day... And here we go, guys. Eight Robot Masters of the fan game Mega Man Rock Force. We have Pulse Man, Virus Man, Photon Man, Charade Woman, 
okay? Uh, circuit, circuit Man, Shock Man, Fuse Man, and Crypt Man. Now, this video is just to kind of like get this Let's Play started. So sadly, I'm going to end the video here. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Till then, see you then.